Come out in threes with my pressure washer, please. Let's help the uh, McLennis get elected, please. For, for, for a free Pinellas, they got to vote. His name is McLennis, and you got to vote. It's the second last day. Then he beats Santana in the first election race. Then you go after Bob Galtieri. He has COVID. Oh, it's scary. 2020, 21, 22. James McClinus, he's the man for you. You want to free Pinellas? You got to vote McClinus. McClinus, free Pinellas. Hey, guys. How's it going? So, this is uh, 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 Senor James. Miklinas, I have several nicknames for this guy. The Gordon's Fisherman, Paddington Bear, Papa Smurf. What else? Hanging out with him for a few days. When I see him out of the corner of my eyes and my peripheral, and then suddenly I see, like, the Gordon's Fisherman. I don't know why, man. Something's wrong with me. Anyway, you saw what we were doing there in the intro with my horrible rapping, and... We were pressure washing McLennis for Sheriff into the dirty sidewalk. So basically we were cleaning off part of the sidewalk and it left a message behind. Nothing and a cleaner sidewalk. So James is also doing that in this video. He is going to <clears throat> Fort DeSoto, which is my favorite, one of my favorite beaches to go to. It also has a pier. My wife sits on the beach. I go fish on the pier. They got sinks and wash stations every few feet like you go fishing and then catch a bunch of fish and then leave like wash up and leave and you, you don't even smell like you were fishing and there's a cool fort with cannons with seven mile ranges on them but i digress <clears throat> so james is getting stopped here by a pinellas county sheriff's deputy i'm gonna be interrupting if you don't want to hear me leave this is my video it's his video we've been sharing videos Whatever. Here we go. This is great. Do you have your driver's license? He says, I may. The reason he says I may is because 901.151 Florida statute says you don't have to show ID unless you are suspected of a crime. Police don't like that. So they always skip right over that or pretend like they don't know it or actually don't know it. And James is walking in the shade and the cop's like, what are you doing? In the shade. Step in the shade, you know. I'm not gonna step standing out in the sun. I'm, 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 what are you doing? I'm uh, pressure washing, cleaning. Pressure washing, cleaning. Yeah. County property. Yeah, is that all right? Do you have a contract to do that? Is there any crime against it? No. There's not a crime against pressure washing. Yeah. We'll make one up here in a second. Oh, pardon? Look like y'all were painting. And what? No. I do, but what crime have I committed? You have to have reasonable, articulable suspicion. It's, I was off the bike lane. I pulled over into it when when you pulled me over, which I normally wouldn't have done. Okay, that's what I said. You were stopped in the roadway, and you were also stopped in the bike lane. So. Actually, I wasn't in the bike lane. I've been very careful not to be in the bike lane. Okay, well, my video may show a difference. So can you get That'd be great. Well, 
Uh, is it a law? To, is it against the law to stop temporarily with your emergency flashers on a roadway? What's that law? You cannot stop in a roadway. Why not? Because it's against law. What statute is that? I, I can't repeat the statute off the top of my head. Well, you see, here's the thing. A lot of times police officers come to me and they say, I violated the law, I broke the law, when in fact there is no such law. So if you can pro provide me the citation of the law that I broke where it's against the law to actually okay. stop on a roadway. I would provide that to you if you were providing your driver's license. And I understand that. But you have to understand is... There's a 901.151. Here in Florida, I am not required to show you my driver's license unless you can provide me reasonable, articulate suspicion that I've committed a crime. So but saying it's against the law to stop it, to say that it's against the law to stop in a roadway, that's that's it, not, not true. I I was not in the bike lane. Now you're gonna. Now he's doubling down on the lie. Lie about it, because I you saw me. Well, now yes, I was gonna pull over there, but I thought I was not in the bike lane. I made I made very clear, I made sure that I was not in the bike lane. And there's no bikes coming for a mile in either direction anyway. He's just being a busy little Karen, that's all. Okay, so yeah. that what you're saying? Armed Karen. Is, is that you were basically stopped in the lane of traffic. I was temporarily stopped in the lane of traffic with my emergency lights on. Everywhere you go, people stop in this in the middle of the lane. If there's a no, if there's a duck crossing the road, people stop. If there's a, if there's a bicycle, if there's a pedestrian, if there's traffic, people stop in those lanes all the time. They don't. It's not against the law to stop in the lane of traffic. Yes, it is. Then provide me with a statute that says it is. Okay, I need to see your driver's license. And I will gladly show it to okay, you as soon as you provide me. License, and then I'll show you the statute. Well, that doesn't work that way. Here, and, let me, and I'm not trying to be difficult, but let me You are trying to be difficult. I'm not. You're being very difficult. No, no, actually, you're being difficult. He's doing nothing to no one, not bothering anybody, not hurting anybody, not trespassing, not vandalizing anything, not doing anything to anyone. And then you, the armed costume thug, are impeding his freedom against his will and other people against their will because you want to make up lies and you want to be in control of another human being. This is a major problem with the entire police industry. If you assert your rights, you are being very difficult. Yeah, this not cooperating thing is like contempt of cop. You cooperate or they'll figure out a way to snatch you up or steal a little bit of your money uh, just because i'm asserting my legal and constitutional rights and the rights underneath the laws of the state of florida does not mean i'm being difficult and that's part of the problem that well, we have here we're at the, problem, the problem is, is okay that two things i've told you already okay this is like i don't know the third or fourth time i told you you were stopped in a lane of traffic or the angle bike and or the bike lane. Okay. now it's and or the bike lane now i switched it Well, there's no paint here. You saw me pressure washing. It's water. Okay. And it appears you were painting something. No, it's pressure washing. He just told you, moron. It's pressure washing. Do you see paint? Do you see a paint can? Do you see paint anywhere dripping? Do you see paint anywhere? My God. This is who they give guns to. So anyway, you were stopped in the lane of traffic in a roadway, okay, which you cannot do. You can temporarily stop in the roadway. And then again, again, <laughs> show me the law that show says it is right. absolutely you illegal. You show me where you can. That's not the way this works. You're well, the one. Work the, way, the way it works is you're the officer. Yeah, you're supposed to know the law. I am 10 four. I'm 10 six for now. So now this coward who impeded James's freedom for doing nothing unlawful, hurting no one, doing nothing to no one. Now he's escalating because that plastic slave card has to be seen. And he has to, now that he's going to blame James for his aggressions. It's the rapist mentality. Cops have the rapist mentality. If you just let me impede your freedom a little bit, uh, know everything about you, where you live, and your complete record, then I won't have to rape you even harder. It's They have a rapist mentality all the way. Come on, come on out here, Dave. They're sending a second unit. Okay. So, tell me how it works. Okay, the, re the way it works is really simple. If you pull me over before I am... Okay, keep your hands out of your pocket. 
pocket for me, okay? Once you're in, yeah. Thank you. Be, be, if you pull me over, you're required to have a reasonable articulate suspicion of a crime. But, no, you said I've been in the... You're arguing with me that that's not true, so... Well, basically, you, would sell, you yourself admitted you don't know what the law is. No, I said I don't know the picture of the statute. I can't re right. quote the first number. Exactly, because te a lot of times when officers tell me I violated the law, when I go read the law, eh, it's not a violation. Just like asking me for my identification. I know for a fact that I don't have to show you my identification unless you suspect me of breaking a law. So that means you have to tell me the exact law I'm breaking before I have to re make the decision. You know, I, I will humor you. Thank you. I, I, like, I like how that's funny. Like, we're not allowed to know why you're impeding our freedom. You need to know everything about us. We need to surrender all our rights to you, our Fourth Amendment, before you figure out what you're going to charge us with and give you pl plenty and ample time to make up your narrative. It's nonsense. You tell us what we're, we're doing and what you're claiming we're doing unlawful or leave and leave us alone. End of story. And if there's no victim trespassing, damage, or endangering the public, you shouldn't be impeding our freedom in the first place. Try to defend against that, cream-filled Cody. Mike, the former cop. Gaps for cops. Go back and get the statue and tell you that. If we, if, can we both read it? No, you're not going to come to my car. I don't no. want to come to your car. But if you, you can pull it up on a phone. Statue. And, okay, uh, if you do that, we can pull up the statue right now. And if the if the law says it is against the law to stop in a roadway, I will show you my driver's license. Okay. Okay. Hang out right here. I'm going to. It's nice and cool back here. To this cop's credit, and the only thing I'll give him credit for is that he's quote unquote humoring us. No, bro, you should know this stuff. A chef knows his recipes. A cop, a law enforcement officer, should know the laws he's enforcing. It's common effing sense. Pop Smurf. Pop Smurf got a message for you. Uh, now he's, uh, he, he, he started to make up a lot of stuff about how it's uh, illegal to stop in a roadway. Well, cars stop in roadways every day all over the city. If there's anything in your way, you stop in the roadway. It's not a violation to stop in the roadway. If people stop temporarily to fix something, roll up some hoses or do anything like that, that's not a violation. And I seriously doubt that he has a statute that says that is a violation, which is why we're asking. Again, we're not trying to give the man a hard time, but we are asserting our rights that the Florida statute says we do not have to provide our identification unless we've actually broken the law. So asking the officer to show me which exact law he claims that I broke is not out of line because I cannot make the decision if I am required to give him my identification unless he can prove to me that I've broken the law. So the driver's license first, then I'll tell you the law is not the law. That's not the way the law works. So here we are waiting for him to come up with the law. So, so, okay, two things like I told you. Okay. You were parked in a bike lane. Right? I was not in the bike lane. Okay. I had my tire. Again, lying about the bike lane. On the white line. That's parking in a bike lane. So on the white line. Standing or parking on exclusive bicycle lane 316.1945. Uh, he wasn't in the bike lane, so that's irrelevant. Parentheses one, and, parentheses and, and I was not on the bike lane. Let me finish. You asked. I am now because you pulled me over. Let me finish. Okay, good. Okay, the other one is, okay. This is an area where TV, TCD, What's okay, TCD, traffic control device, there are 26 signs between the 7-Eleven and down there that say no parking on the bayway between the pavement, between this curb and that curb. That's, that was not parked. Huh? I was you not were parked. Stopped. You were out of the car. I guess there's a big difference between parking and standing, which is something I need to learn myself. I think park, you have to like turn your car off and leave Stop it on the not parking. The vehicle's been running the entire time. There's, that's not that's parking. Funny. Okay, so it says no stopping, no standing, and parking where an official traffic control device prohibits stopping. Here's where he lies about the TCD prohibiting stopping or standing when just a moment ago he said it only prohibited parking. So if the traffic control device, a sign, says no standing then you can't stand but if it says no parking then you can stand standing meaning you're standing there the car's running you're picking people up you're dropping people off you're unloading loading pressure washing in this case
Give me a second. 316.1945, parentheses 1A10. Okay. It now said, I need to see your driver's Okay, hold on. Let's let's get a little clarification. No, that doesn't we're not hold that on doesn't anymore. say stopping. Does it, it, it says stopping, stop. standing with a control parking. device. Now what are you saying that what control there are device are you saying? Signs between the 7-Eleven and the tow booth that say, say no parking. Just as I had suspected, the traffic control device said no parking and not no standing, as he had claimed. The citation is not valid. Here, hold that. I'm, I think that's sufficient to ask me for my identification. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, and do you have your registration for your car? Uh, yeah, it's in there somewhere. Okay, can you get that for me, please? Sure. I'm going to go dig in my car. I don't want to make you uncomfortable. You're not making me uncomfortable. Okay. You can't. First, you want me to hold it. Okay. He's not required to show it. Now, what the hell? Right away, trying to get this guy to surrender his Fourth Amendment. Again, this is dirty tactics right here. It doesn't matter. I have the right to have anybody that I'm in contact with. Their identification once I have detained this man, which I... You have a right to ask. He does not have an obligation to tell you. Yes. No, not really. So I'm asking you for your ID. Uh, what's the problem? Is that He does not have to show you identification. He again. Yes, he did. No, he don't. An officer, okay, you are so here. wrong. You give me I'm working on it. Um, our guy is either going to be Alton or the South Mountain or the First Street on the red light. Uh, that's insurance, but I don't know if it's a good one or not. Thank you. Well, what about your registration? Uh, thank you. I'm required to have that. Yeah, Here's another man sleeping in the back seat. He could have been dead, kidnapped. I'm in need of, or in need of help. But Deputy oh, R. Jones, uh, too busy trying to steal James's money and, and dominate him. Uh, is that what this is? Is that your registration? Yeah. And you have a registration for your train? Nope. Huh? No. You don't? It's a lease. It's a lease train? Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, we'd like to be in the shade. Thank you. Appreciate it. Anything to keep you from getting the word out, getting the message out, anything that they can do. The Sheriff's Department here in Pinellas County has been told to keep an eye out for me. And if they can find me anywhere that they possibly can, they're going to try and head me up. Uh, write tickets against me or do anything that they can to try and violate my rights. So it's going to be really interesting because after we're done here, we're going to go up and down this street and we're going to see if there are any traffic control devices that say that there's no parking on this particular stretch of the road, even though we were not parked. And of course, I will be fighting this citation like I fight every citation. Not have the right oh, to. More. He has the right to ask, but you have no obligation to to oh, provide it unless unless you've committed a crime. Oh yeah, yeah. So it's that. I was so now they need three patrol cars to see if they can probably figure out some other way to hem me up and arrest me or beat me up. This is what it takes for a, a, a vehicle temporarily stopped at the side of the road for literally less than a minute. This is the police response to that. Three seventy thousand dollar patrol cars and three deputies with combined on an, salary on a of fairly empty road. Now that guy two hundred twenty five thousand dollars plus. $350,000 in vehicles for to issue James a parking ticket. It's going to be way down there for some reason. Then we've got this one here. Then we've got that one there for the horrible crime of stopping at the side of the road for approximately 60 seconds. This is the waste of tax dollars. This is why we have too many police officers here in Pinellas County. If they have three patrol cars costing $70,000 each, and each one of these officers costing seventy-five, dollars eighty, $90,000 a year, not even counting their benefits, $100,000 a year with benefits, you're looking at almost $350,000 worth of your tax money at work here. For what? To harass somebody who stopped in an extremely wide roadway with very little traffic, not impeding any traffic, not impeding any bikers, not impeding anybody all the way down this entire roadway. This is how much traffic they have here.
This is the big incident that they send three cars out for. Oh, they're looking up who I am. They're going to write me a ticket. I don't care. They're right. They're me a ticket. Write it. That's exactly why. The only time you show just, uh, if, if you're telling me that you're going to arrest me, if I don't show you ID, then under duress, I will, you are violating my constitutional rights and I'm, I'm going to comply under duress in violation of my rights. But unless you have a reasonable, articulable suspicion of a crime I've committed, I'm not required to show your identification. What? Did you not notice how far away I was from the bike lane all the way down here? I, I, I did, because I was very careful having to get out, because I was not on the bike lane. rental contract in there. But you see how they try and hem me up? Where's your registration for the trailer? Like, oh my God, there's a huge crime. You might not have a little piece of paper after you paid the state. You might not have a little piece of paper on you. So we might be able to steal another $147 from you. Yep. In a lot of states, they don't even let, uh, make you register trailers. But here they do, and they charge you a crap load of money. Plus, they also charge you the same amount of money to title a trailer than as you do a car. So they can steal money from you that way, too. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, they even came down here with their blue lights on like it was a cr criminal emergency. There is an emergency? Well, they, they obviously emergency? considered me an emergency. Oh. McLennis, we got him. Come on, boys. Let's go see if we can get him to do something so we can beat him up. Yeah. yeah, another thing I'd like to talk about is, do you see how he was very unwilling to tell me what law that I violated, demanding that we produce the identification first? But it's something that they, they try and do to everybody. They try and violate your constitutional rights uh, because they think you won't know the difference or you won't stand up to them. And if you do stand up to them and you assert your constitutional rights, then the next thing you are is you're a troublemaker. You're being uncooperative. If you assert your rights, you are uncooperative. Well, you should be uncooperative to have your rights violated. You should not cooperate with any government agency that's trying to, co trying to violate your rights. And we have the rights here in America to go around without being harassed and without being identified and without being pulled over and, and demanded to show ID. This is not Nazi Germany. But if you assert your rights, you're a troublemaker. You're not cooperating. That sound familiar, Davila? Chris Davila of the Pasco County Sheriff's Office? They're conspiring. Most of the, a traffic stop shouldn't take no longer than the actual time necessary to conduct the stop. Otherwise, he's violated my civil rights again. So he's doing pretty good. He's coming out now. Oh, they got to get the shotgun out. now it's been approximately what five eight ten minutes <laughs> 
So he's just a tyrant that goes around and does that all day. Okay, he's coming back out. 220, it says. All right, sir. Your dash cam functioning? Huh? Your dash cam functioning? Yeah. Okay, good. I'll make a public records request for the dash cam footage. Yeah, it, it's functioning. Hello. How are you today? Okay. Uh, this is a citation for parking in a roadway. They say no parking on the bayway between the pavement, between this curb and that curb. That's that was not parked. Huh? I was you not parked. Stopped. 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 You were out of the car. Stopping is park. not parking. The vehicle's been running the entire time. There's, that's not, not parking. parking. Okay, bing, bing, okay, bing, okay, bing. okay, okay. Stopping, no standing, and parking where an official traffic control device prohibits stopping. This is a citation for parking in a roadway where a traffic control device permits. If you would like, you can go up where the, you know where 7-Eleven is? Yeah. Okay. There's a, I don't know, probably six foot by six foot sign that says no parking on the bayway from curb to curb in the next 2.2 miles, which covers down here by the toll Highway sign is obscured by a pole, which they're not supposed to do. Okay, 2.1 miles. So you cannot park on the bayway at all. I will be investigating that law and how many times you have to reapply that law in signage going at going down the road. Now that I have no and I'm going to obviously we're going to have a big long discussion in court about what constitute parking versus my car running. Well, you were so, outside it, and so anyway. So there was I'm other people inside it. Huh? There's other people, other people yeah, inside it. Why not? Because he's been passing for something. Oh, well, anyway, there's another person there. About it out here. No, well, let's uh, do it in court. I can't. That'll be good. Be, this is your citation for that. Thank you. Do I have to sign it? Yes. I'm required to sign it. Yes. Under law. Yes. What happens if I don't? Then you go to jail. <laughs> That's not true. So he plays a little news ad here. I'm going to play something different. Hold on. All right. Here's the fair DUI flyer from Warren Redlick. There he is, lawyer in Florida. This is the one I had in my car during that uh, 18 million viewed video. <clears throat> I remain silent, no searches. Please put any tickets under the windshield wiper. I am not required to sign 318.142. Not required to hand you my license, 322.15. Thus, I am not opening my window. I will comply with clearly stated law orders. Blah, 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 okay? This guy's a genius, Warren Redlick. Now, let me pause again and I'll go back to the other video. Thank you. And this is mine. No. That's your ID. Got it. This is the court information. With a So he signed it under threat of violence, threat of arrest. This is your copy of the summons. Okay. Uh, since it, because of COVID, okay, it's not like 30 days. The court will contact you on, on a court date. On a court date? Yeah. Okay. Great. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Don't forget your water bottle. Oh, well. Okay. You, you guys can go. Are we free to stay? Huh? Are we free to stay? No, or? you're not. You're blocking the roadway. But I already got a ticket. Are you going to give me another one? Okay. You know what? <laughs> you're going to push your luck a little bit too far. And then what? It's getting hot. And then man. you're going to arrest it's me? Getting hot. And then you're going to arrest me? Yeah. You know? You're blocking the roadway now. You're blocking the yeah. roadway. You're in a bike. Well, I already you gave me a ticket for blocking the roadway. You got, you got, well, you made me go there. <laughs> That's fair. That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> um, uh, John. Officer Jones, hey, I took your hand code and everything, but you, for for an unpleasant experience you've given me, you've actually been very pleasant oh, I with appreciate it. That. All right, thank you. You guys have a nice day. You know, if you just kind of talk to people like lick our boots, none of this even has to happen. So there he goes. None of this would have had to happen if you would have just shown me respect that I don't deserve for violating my oath to the Constitution making up laws, lying, using hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of tax resources to give you a parking ticket because you hurt my feelings. You could show this to a judge and they wouldn't even care either. I 
agree, but asking people for something you don't have a right to do until, until I make the decision. Right, but I have the right to know, you know. And then, honestly, I think that, you know, pulling over and doing all this is for what I was supposedly doing out here is pretty chicken shit, actually. I think it's kind of... It's, it's beyond chicken. Beyond chicken. It's coward. Extreme loser coward is what it is. Well, I just know, I wide know. open road, hardly any traffic out here. And this is what's wrong with the Pinellas County Sheriff's Department. This is why I'm running for sheriff, is to stop people like you from doing things like that you see it could it could have been handled by just having you pull over and say hey you know there's a sign down there and we'd really appreciate it if you didn't stop there thank you have a nice day but not in pinellas county why no. is that funny to you pig because then you can't get your boots licked and your authority respected you gotta steal people's money and this is why i'm running for sheriff to stop stuff like this so that the police will actually be more polite ask nicely don't steal people's money well, I did ask, ask nicely me. you didn't ask me nicely okay. You, you came, you were, you were on my identification so you could write me a citation. So the bottom line is that's why I'm running for sheriff to stop stuff like this. And to stop stuff like this, having three patrol cars out here with all the $70,000 a piece plus you guys $60,000, $70,000 a piece with benefits, all that for this? I don't make that much money. Well, with your benefits, you do. Not really. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and make a public records request for your last paycheck. We'll check that out too. Go ahead, man. All right, thanks. Have a nice day. Uh, you too. Coward POS. And that's what it's like living in Pinellas County. Everything's a crime. They'll steal from you for everything. Here's the best part. The best part. Not only did the PCSO deputy Jones lie about the law, lie about the signage, lie that I was parked, lie about arresting me if I did not sign the citation. But he also wrote me a citation for parking a silver Toyota truck. He wrote him for the wrong car. After all that escalation, waste of tax money, he wrote him a citation for the wrong car. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Please. Today and tomorrow, the last days for voting, I believe, in Pinellas County. If you live in Pinellas County, vote for James McClinnis for sheriff. Get the police state off your back. Let the economy flourish, 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 flourish. And please subscribe to my channel and check out my Etsy store. Thanks, everybody. Peace and tranquility. Bye.